this evening. Cotton spinning was once a key industry in the northwest of England, and now it has made a return to the UK. A mill in Manchester has become the only textile factory to spin cotton commercially again. The process has revived the sector, connecting businesses across the region as they make clothes using the yarn. Our correspondent Judith Moritz has followed the supply chain from start to finish. Her report contains some flashing images. Fresh off the boat from California, cotton has come back to its spiritual home. Refurbished and re-energised, this Manchester mill is the first in the UK to spin commercially again. For the first time in 50 years, cotton is in full production. It's really re-engaged the, the weavers and the finishers and the dyers to pull together and forge those chains back again. Um, and there is a, a Honestly, an enormous appetite for provenance and, and British made. We're following the process as the cotton spun here finds its way from the bale to the clothes hanger. From its raw state to spun yarn, I'm now going to take this cotton from here in Manchester over to Blackburn to be dyed. That's for you. What happens now? Uh, so we're going to take this into our dye house, we're going to load it onto a dye stand, we're going to bleach it. We're going to dye it and we're going to dry it. This yarn dyers used to source all its cotton overseas. Now it only travels 30 miles. Turned pink, it's time to take the yarn up the road to Burnley to be woven. The resurrection of the cotton process comes at a good time for the industry. BBC News and the trade body Make It British spoke to almost 100 textile businesses to see how their 2017 has been. 30% of them say they're exporting more British-made goods than last year. There is concern about the age of the workforce. Two-thirds have staff whose average age is over 40. But overall, the news is positive. 50% of them are turning over more than a year ago. The factory weaving our pink cloth is a good example. Our order book is, is really healthy, so, so the next six months forecast is, is looking great. Um, so much so that we're, we're now having to put on extra shifts and recruit additional staff. You are there. Back in Manchester, our cloth is now ready to be made into a shirt. Cut, pressed, stitched and finished at this factory, one of the few of its kind to survive. I don't think we'll ever see a return to the halcyon days of Cottonopolis. However, there is huge opportunities for businesses and brands like ours to create sustainable, viable and ultimately very profitable businesses by making him here again in the UK and selling um, to an international marketplace. Spun, dyed, woven and stitched, the cotton process has been sewn back together again. Our journey behind the seams ends with a shirt made from local yarn. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Manchester. It's been a busy